Hello, this is Ken from KMS Brakes, and today we're going to talk about Corvette Z06 two piece rotors that are fitted to the C7 model. This car has a large Brembo brakes front and rear with two piece rotors, and with many of the users tracking the vehicle, there's a need for replacing the rotors and some frequency based on the owner's usage of the car. So we'll first go over the description of the product and the differences between a two-piece rotor and what you normally expect to see on your car. Then we'll show you GM's version of this product and we'll show you Disc Brake Australia's replacement rotor ring. And we'll show you why we like it, uh, what the benefits might be of it, and uh, some differences and, and, and eventually we'll also make a segment on how to do the assembly of the new ring to the current hat that you have. So we have two Z06, C7 Z06 Corvette front rotors here, one we've disassembled already. Uh, both are used on a car that we used on track and we'll go over the parts here real quick and then I'll, then I'll show you some other things. So the two-piece rotor assembly here, you can see it's an aluminum center hat with an iron outer rotor ring and the ring is essentially suspended on the hat by this bobbin nut and bolt system and what this allows for is the rotor ring to expand to contract more evenly and this is a benefit when you're on track with the car because of the high change in heat temperature heat that the rotor sees and it usually generally should allow the rotor to last longer and work better uh, so we can see with the GM rotors are slotted and in both cases you can see that the rotors start to crack at these slots now we'll always under track use see some minor heat checking on the surface of the rotor which I'm indicating but the one thing we see with these GM rotors is a very significant cracking right through the perimeter of the edge of the slot that goes to the perimeter of the rotor and this is at this point the rotor has failed and shouldn't be discarded uh, because it's the, the integrity of the rotor is, is, is now uh, a problem and you shouldn't track any further well generally speaking we would like to see a significantly more heat checking along the surface of the rotor before it cracks to failure. But that's not really desirable. We would like this rotor to not go for more than a few weekends on track with a car with street tires and a mid-range race pad. Um, so anyway, so this is a Brembo ring made by GM. Uh, and uh, another thing that we saw is Upon reassembly with the hardware that GM uses, the bolt was not able to withstand the locking, uh, the locking ability of the replacement nut. These nuts are one-time use, so we replace those when we reassemble a new rotor. And we'll talk more about that further when we go over the assembly. But uh, this GM bolt, now it has a 8.8 .8 marking on the head. And if that's an, I think that's likely the grade of the bolt. That's, that's, not, a, that's not a high metric uh, bolt grade. We would like to see a 12.9 grade bolt, which is what we supply with the replacement rings when we when we sell them. So a little bit more about the rotor ring. Uh, as you can see, also the hat has these little steel sleeves or whatever. I like that feature because that's going to reduce the wear of the steel bobbin against the aluminum hat, and that I think is quite a good feature, by the way. So you can, of course. If you crack the rotors, you can of course buy new complete assemblies from GM, but they do not sell the hats or hardware separately. They consider that a non-serviceable item. Hence the need for a replacement rotor ring, which we'll show you in a moment. So the GM rotor ring is 370 millimeters in diameter by 33 millimeters thick, it weighs about 22 pounds, and it is made of what we call by a pillar vein design. So these are the veins here between the two friction plates. It's 33 millimeters thick. There's your air gap, which is pretty wide. These cheeks are not super thick as from what I've seen. And you can see the intermittent veins, and that's what we would call a pillar vein design. Uh, that's common on many Brembo rotors they make for OEM applications. We have seen that time and time again. Okay, uh, so let's talk a little bit about this vein design. Uh, there's three common vein designs the brake rotors are made, made by. Uh, typically on a one-piece rotor on most cars, we have a straight vein design. 
So if this is the friction, friction band, the veins are straight and look like this. And they're, you know, radially all the way around the rotor. And so air enters the rotor, travels out. That works reasonably well it's for your street car. The second type of design will be called a pillar vein design, which is what we see on this Brembo disc. And in this case, in order to get a little bit more mass and cooling area in the disc, we'll take these straight veins and intermittently space them. That's why we call them pillars. So now as the air goes through, it can be a bit of mixing and et cetera and so forth. And the goal here is to extract more heat from the disc because the heat comes in the surface of the disc through the plate into the veins and the cooling air blows past the veins, taking the heat out of the rotor. A third design more commonly used in racing rotors or track rotors would be a curved vein design. And this is a little bit different. So in this case, the vein is curved and elongated. And the reason for this is two things occur. Number one, the vein is longer than the straight vein design. That adds more mass and more cooling area, surface area to the veins. It also increases the airflow through the rotor. The goal here in, both, in all cases is to again, absorb and extract more heat from the brake disc under racing conditions. Because that's the rotor's primary job is to, re, is to store and remove heat from the braking system. When the rotor spins, this acts much more like a fan blowing more air through the rotor over a larger surface area, thus increasing the cooling capacity. So, we didn't make all these videos just so we could show you GM's rotors and have you head on down to your dealer and buy a pair. We have a better idea. This is Disc Brake Australia's replacement rotor ring for a C7 Corvette Z06 or Grand Sport with iron brakes. DBA is a manufacturer in Australia that have been making brake discs for many years and they have a known quality rotor that can withstand racing use. We've sell them over and over again. This rotor is made to fit on GM's assembly and they do provide aerospace grade nuts to, to replace the hardware. And we'll show you the difference between the DBA rotor and the GM rotor. So, the first thing we see is a different slotting pattern. This is DBA's T3 slot design. This is GM's, I don't know what you want to call that. that that's fairly irrelevant. Slots help evacuate braking gases, etc. What we do notice right away is the DBA rotor is heavier for sure. It's about 24 pounds. Additionally, it has a different vein design. As you can see, there's GM's pillar vein design we talked about. And this is a 72 curved vein rotor by DBA. It's also made out of their proprietary brake rotor alloy and the rotor is heat treated. And as you can see, that's a very dense vein pattern. There's lots of curved veins there. And that's where some of the additional mass comes from. Additionally, the GM rotor is about 33 millimeters thick. And the DBA rotor is 34 millimeters thick. So there's one millimeter of expensive brake rotor there for you. So it's very easy to buy these DBA replacement rings and assemble them with your existing GM rotor hat. And what many of our customers do is they buy a second set of GM rotors and then now you'll have two sets of hats so you can have a fully assembled spare rotor ready to put on the car rather than attempt a rotor assembly at the track. Additionally, the GM hardware, or excuse me, the uh, DBA hardware 
This is a locking aerospace quality nut. It's very hard to see, but it's basically not quite round. And what happens is when it threads down on the bolt, it locks automatically. It's a one-time use. You don't need any Loctite or anything. Additionally, we mentioned before GM's grade 8.8 hardware. Not particularly happy with that. So we are supplying with our rotors, we are supplying a grade 12.9 metric hex head cap screw. It is flanged and black oxide coated so that now you can have a more robust rotor ring and a more robust hardware for track use.